There have been quite a few pieces of news regarding the Boeing 787 this past week. Some airframes are stuck on the ground, while others are entering service. With this diversity of news, we thought we would wrap it all up into a single video as a news roundup. So, let's get started. Austrian Airlines' first Boeing 787-9 arrived in Vienna on May 14th in advance of entering service. At the time of making this video, the aircraft registered Oscar Echo Lima Papa Lima had already conducted numerous test flights in and out of Vienna and Leipzig in Germany. The aircraft also flew between Vienna and Bratislava, Slovakia a number of times. All of this is presumably a part of crew training and familiarization. While the 7879 is very much a long-haul aircraft, its initial commercial services will see it fly passengers between Vienna and other European destinations, with the jet thus far heading to Berlin and Frankfurt. Marrakesh, Morocco will eventually follow. The new planes will be used for fleet renewal as the airline's Boeing 767s and 777s are aging. At the same time, this first 787 isn't all that new itself. Indeed, data from CH Aviation indicates that it is already four and a half years old. The airframe, manufacturer serial number MSN62735, was actually first delivered to Bamboo Airways in January 2020, just before the COVID-19 pandemic blew up on a global scale. Bamboo Airways operated the plane until November 2023. It was then transferred to Austrian in February 2024. Data shows the aircraft is configured with 294 seats in a three-cabin configuration. There are 26 business class seats, 21 in premium economy, and 247 in economy. Next up, Kenya Airways has experienced disruptions to its passenger operations as two of its Boeing 787 Dreamliners have been grounded due to engine issues. The announcement came on May 19th, with the airline noting that disruptions were mainly caused by the unscheduled and extended groundings of two Boeing 7878s due to delayed engine and engine components delivery. As a result, the Nairobi-based carrier experienced quote-unquote abnormally high levels of delays. In addition to the grounding of the wide bodies, Kenya Airways flight disruptions have been impacted by the unavailability of its flight crew on certain regional routes. Consequently, the airline was forced to readjust its network and schedules by downgrading some flights to minimize the disruption. Kenya Airways has a fleet of nine Boeing 7878s powered by GENX-1B70 engines. As of May 2024, the airline deploys the wide bodies from its hub at Nairobi Jomo Kenyatta International Airport to 10 international destinations, including New York JFK, London Heathrow, Paris Charles de Gaulle, Bangkok Savannah Bumi, and Johannesburg OR Tambo. At the moment, CH Aviation shows one of the Dreamliners, registration 5 Yankee Kilo Zulu Echo, as inactive and undergoing maintenance. According to Flight Radar 24, the nine-year-old aircraft operated its last flight on February 4, 2024. In neighboring Tanzania, one of Air Tanzania's Boeing 7878 Dreamliners has been grounded for well over half a year. Interestingly, however, the aircraft has not been spending this time at its home country. Rather, it has been in Malaysia undergoing maintenance. The aircraft operated its last commercial flight in August 2023 and is expected to return to Tanzania in the next few weeks. Amidst ongoing concerns about the 7878's time on the ground, Air Tanzania's Director General Ladislaus Matindi disclosed that the aircraft had faced issues with its Rolls-Royce engines and is undergoing engine maintenance rather than a sea check. Furthermore, the lack of spare engines has forced the aircraft to be out of service for this lengthy period of time. The aircraft in question has registration 5 Hotel Tango Charlie Juliet and was delivered brand new to Air Tanzania in October 2019. Speaking about the issue, the Air Tanzania boss said in a statement, translated from Swahili, ATCL's Boeing 7878 aircraft use Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engines, 
According to the guidelines of the Civil Aviation Authority and the engine manufacturers, it has been necessary for the engines to be overhauled every 1,000 jumps. This is after the discovery of design problems in the systems, especially in the washing of power to drive the aircraft, for many engines of the new versions. In addition, these problems have led to the issuance of special guidelines regarding the periodic inspection of the engine if in use. The airline executive also added that the engines must wait for a slot when sent for maintenance due to the large number of engines awaiting work. This increases the time that the aircraft is on the ground. The maintenance is reportedly underway, with the aircraft expected to return to Tanzania at the beginning of June 2024. In another corner of the world, Air New Zealand will implement equipment changes on flights between Auckland Airport and Tokyo Narita for the 2024-25 winter season. The airline's Boeing 7879 Dreamliners will no longer fly on the intercontinental route, with the Boeing 777-300ER being used instead. As noted by Business Insider, the equipment swap results in a higher proportion of premium seats when compared to the 7879s that are currently deployed. Air New Zealand's current Dreamliner fleet is powered by Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engines. The UK engine maker has currently been experiencing supply chain issues and a shortage of spare parts. Like Air Tanzania, this has caused service disruptions for Air New Zealand. For the Kiwi carrier, it has resulted in an extended pause to its Chicago service. The airline did not expect such heavy work to be performed at such an early stage of usage. Since Rolls-Royce has been unable to provide spare or replacement engines, three aircraft will be unavailable for an undetermined period. And then our last bit of 787-related news has to do with Middle Eastern airline Fly Dubai. The chief executive officer of the airline, Raith Al Raith, says that he has doubts about Boeing's ability to deliver the airline's first 787s by 2026 as initially planned. The Dubai-based carrier is one of many airlines worldwide that expects to face delays in the delivery of new aircraft over the next few years. The carrier seeks to take advantage of the aircraft's exceptional range to launch longer routes and break into new markets. The Twin Isle Jets will also have a new cabin layout to be more aligned with its sister airline, Emirates. The CEO made the remarks at the recent Arabian travel market held at the Dubai World Trade Center. Khaith Al Khaith said, We are not sure if Boeing can meet the 2026 deadline, given the delays it's experiencing in deliveries. So we first want to make sure that we have the new aircraft on a specific date before we can talk about the other things. Fly Dubai placed an eyebrow-raising order for 30 Boeing 787 Dreamliners in a deal worth about $11 billion. Taking place at the 2023 Dubai Air Show, this was the airline's fourth aircraft order since its founding and as part of its plan to diversify its fleet by introducing wide bodies. So, what do you think of these Boeing 787 developments? Are you excited to see the Type enter service with Austrian Airlines? And when do you think Rolls-Royce will solve its Trent 1000 issues? Share your thoughts with us by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.